Hey guys, what's up? Today I have another video for you, and it is a first impressions video of this knife. The Spyderco Mantra 2. <clears throat> so this knife um, has been released, or was released, uh, I think the beginning of this year. And I'm actually surprised that it has not gained a lot of popularity. Um, to me, this is a uh, a great EDC ball bearing flipper that is reminiscent. Whoops, reminiscent of the ZT0450, which I have owned. And in my review, I may compare this to the 0450 a little bit. But it's very similar. And uh, in this particular um, knife, the Mantra series, um, there was a, something special about it that drew me to the series and that is the steel as you can see there it says Spyderco CPM M4 M4 steel I hear from uh, other knife reviewers and videos that it's a very hard steel that holds an edge for a, a very long time and so I want some experience with that steel and if it's true I think that it would make a great uh, steel for this little EDC knife um, as you can see it has been sharpened by me but it's not to the level of polish that I normally like for instance here's the Southern Avo you can see that it's got some glue and stuff on it because I do use my knives but um, you can see the polish also and perhaps my EDC today the Strider SNG you can see that this is much more polished also. And this was my first attempt sharpening it. And I've learned um, what grits I need to stay more focused on. And, you know, I need to spend more time on. But, you know, this was my first attempt on M4. And it's still very sharp. Oops. So it'll do your S-curves. I'm kind of in an awkward position because my tripod is my uh, makeshift tripod. So there it's doing push cuts and so it will push cut. But you know, it's not quite as sharp as I would like it and not quite as polished. Um, I, so I'm going to give this another go uh, probably after I sharpen the Contigo, uh, which is a customer knife I have in that's M4. This knife is made in Taiwan, which also, I gotta be honest, that's a turn on for me for Spy from Spyderco. I find that Spyderco's Taiwan factory makes their best knives, um, fit and finish wise. So let's get on to my uh, first impressions of the actual knife, regardless of the specs. I gotta say, it's pretty light. Um, it was lighter than I expected, and I saw the weight. The weight was uh, like 2.7 ounces or something like that. And it is very light. Second thing I noticed was whenever I hit that flipper and it flew out. I mean, this guy is a great, great flipper. I can do it with my middle finger, easy. Probably not this finger. Nope, not quite. But you just got to push down. It's a push button flipper. It's not really a uh, light switch flipper, even though you can flip it like that. It's more of a push button. Oops. And you can see there another thing I've noticed, no jimping. And so it's very easy for your finger to uh, slide off that. But once you get a grip on that flipper, it flies out. It really does take no effort to push button it. Um, one thing on this particular model <clears throat> is that there is a little bit of lock stick. And you can see that there's a stainless steel insert right here. Which kind of, there you could hear it. It surprises me why there's lock stick and I have been doing the sharpie looks like I might need to reapply on the uh, where it's contacting but I'm doing sharpie and the sharpie doesn't seem to do much it's not oops 
it's not a uh, a lot of stick, but there is a little bit of stick there that I wish wasn't. There, you can hear it. Fin finish is great though. Centering is right on, dead on perfect. Um, the construction, man. I've taken this knife apart several times trying to get rid of that stick. And um, I gotta say, it was a hassle the first time. Spyderco's, um, Spyderco, uh, the Taiwan factory specifically, does a great job with these pillars. These are shouldered in tight uh, into the titanium. So you're not going to get any movement in the titanium. Uh, these screws do go right into this pillar, but the pillar is shouldered so well. Um, like I had to, uh, where did my driver, my Torx driver go? I just had it. Excuse me for just one second, guys. Alright, so this isn't the right size, but I'm not actually going to unscrew it. I had to take this, back the screw out a little bit, and then push in to pop that pillar out. Because it was in there so tight. And so I think that just shows the degree of fit and finish and tolerance. It was great. One thing I did notice though taking it apart is that the screws are all different lengths and so you had to make sure you put the right length screw into the uh, pillar or you would have some problems with either a lot of blade play or um, you might tighten it down a little too much. Again, this guy flips great. The blade shape on this knife is... Um, is awesome. Uh, originally, when I was looking at the Mantra series, I thought I would get the uh, Mantra 1 because it also has a spidey hole. But uh, I'm really growing to like these uh, Sheep's Foot Warren Cliff like blades. I love it on uh, the Sabenza here. And I had a 3 inch Warren Cliff blade at one point. If you check out my Instagram, you'll see a picture of that. And I, I gotta be honest, I wish I didn't get rid of it. I wish I held on to that one, because that would have been a really functional blade shape. <clears throat> but I didn't, and, um, but I've been loving the Sabenza, the blade shape. How the point is so far down is just great for utility. It's just a great blade shape, in my opinion. And so I decided to, uh, go with this southern looking blade shape and um, I haven't used it too much but uh, I assume it's gonna be great this thing is gonna be a wicked slicer though because it's got a very thin narrow blade that's comes down to a 15 degree edge <clears throat> it's just gonna be great I have not had a problem with the pocket clip wobbling at all So yeah, uh, I love the stone wash on the blade also, or the handle. It's a nice matte stone wash. <clears throat> so that's really all, all I have to say for the first impressions video. Um, expect a review coming soon. Really, all, wanna, all I want to do is use it a little bit more and polish up the edge a little bit more. This side isn't... This side seems to be more polished than this side. Maybe it's just because it's skinny. I don't know. So, snuck away real quick to make this video. Um, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. And uh, remember to like these videos um you know of course i'm not a very big channel right now at all but uh you know i like it when y'all guys comment because i'm doing this not to get views um not to do all that stuff i'm doing it just to share my opinions with a knife or on a my opinions on a knife and <clears throat> whenever i get likes and comments it lets me know that there's someone listening whoops it lets me know that someone is uh listening and that you know 
I'm not just talking to myself when I do these videos. Also, check out my Instagram and let me know if you want to get a, a wickedly sharp knife like this guy. I think I'm going to do a video soon um, of all the knives that I own and that whatever customer knives I may have at the time and uh, do a cut test and show you all how sharp these actually are. Maybe that will be a part of my uh, polish versus toothy edge video. Alright, so that's it guys. Have a good one. Happy Father's Day to everyone out there. See you in the next one.